Are you a six wing five or a six wing seven? Let's find out. You had this video scheduled to go up last week. Sorry, I, I had a different video scheduled to go up and then I had this sponsor situation. All so I then I excuses. If you say you're gonna do something, then do it. Aw, lighten up. Thank you. The point of this video is to educate and have fun. Do you look like you're having fun? <clears throat> Didn't think so. <laughs> Anyway, hello, my name is Abby and this is my channel all about the Enneagram and different personality types so that you can discover you. If you want to be a part of an exclusive and thoughtful Enneagram community, you can join this channel's Patreon. It literally just launched and I am so excited to go even deeper with you guys with weekly live streams. I'm making iPhone wallpapers for all nine types every month, journal prompts, a private discord, and so much more. If you're interested in that you can go ahead and find the link in the description down below oh, and today's video is made possible by Lisette the first ever patreon supporter who joined patreon before I even officially launched it I don't know how you found it but you did and for that I am eternally grateful thank you so much Lisette this video goes out to you so I bet you clicked on this video because you know deep down your main type is an Enneagram 6 but you just can't figure out what your main wing is so let's figure it out together quick refresher if you want a deep dive on Enneagram wings you can click on my video right here but basically wings are the two numbers that are by your sides they're your neighbor numbers so for Enneagram 6 that's Enneagram 7 and Enneagram 5 so you can't be an Enneagram six wing two, you can only be an Enneagram six wing five or six wing seven. And we all have access to both of our wings, but people tend to label their wings because they lean more heavily on one wing than the other. First, let's have a little chat with six wing five because uh, she just sent me a Google calendar reminder that I am 30 seconds late for our interview. So I should probably go do that. Oh, you made it. I was just finishing up my daily to-do list in my planner. I'm volunteering at the animal shelter at 2 p.m. and I promised to bring some blankets for some of the new dogs who were brought in last night. I like spending time with dogs because they give me that comfort and security, but they also don't have expectations for me. Do you understand? Oh, hello, my little cute little munchkin baby. Do you need a new blanket? Do you want some spritches? Do you want a little cuddle? I brought a treat for you. You want a treat? If you haven't guessed already, I'm an Enneagram six wing five, AKA the guardian or the defender. Sometimes I'm mistyped as a one or even an Enneagram eight if I'm a counterphobic type six. My main type and my wing, they like super conflict with each other because my Enneagram six wants security and support and then my wing five is like, hey, uh, why don't you detach and protect yourself and your inner resources? It's confusing, but it makes me who I am and I'm okay with that. Six wing fives are responsible, stubborn, cerebral, and analytical people. If you have a six wing five in your life, they probably fight for the underdog. Similar to type ones and type eights, six wing fives do not like to sit idly by while, while injustices take place. In fact, defenders, they're gonna go out there, they're gonna make things happen, they're gonna make change happen because they, they can't sit um, with bad things happening to people. They want to change it and they know that they can make a difference. When they are struggling, six wing fives fall into suspicion and anxiety. They find it really difficult to trust other people, which is hard for a type six because their core desire is to have security and support. But if you don't trust anyone, where are you gonna get that security and support? In stress, they feel like they need to detach and withdraw from others in order to protect their inner resources. Can you guys hear where the Enneagram five wing is coming in? Because that's where it's, that's where it's coming in. You will also find that defenders are sturdy and trustworthy people. I like to say that Frodo Baggins is a six wing five. He will fight to the death for the people and the causes that he loves. He's reliable and conscientious, but he also has trouble trusting others. I mean, a huge part of that is probably because of Boromir and uh, Boromir's betrayal, but that's a whole other can of worms. This is not a video about Lord of the Rings, Abigail. Let's move on to talk about Six Wing Seven, shall we? Hey, hi, hello, how are you? What are we doing today? 
Oh, I'm so silly. I forgot we're shooting this video. Oh, you look thirsty. Do you want some water? Tea? Kombucha? I have LaCroix. I have like 50 flavors of LaCroix. Limoncello, grapefruit, raspberry, crayon raspberry. Yesterday I saw a guy spill all his Scrabble letters all over the road and so I looked at him and I said, what's the word on the street? Get it? What's the word on the street? I saw that on Twitter this morning and I had to share it with you. Hey, after this is over, do you want to play Bananagrams? I brought all my favorite games. So I've got this. We can do board game night. What do you mean? This one is so funny. I have to show it to you. Oh, and Yahtzee. When I get stressed out and I don't know, I get super anxious and I have trouble making decisions. It's just like, ah! I want my friends and family here to like help me out, you know? This can be a fun drinking game if you do it right. But I try not to get stressed too often. I mean, what I really wanna do is like go to work, do my job, and then have some fun, you know? Six wing sevens, also known as the buddy or the confidant, are the best friends to have. They are funny, likable, and easygoing. But please don't mistake six wing sevens for flighty people. They're actually incredibly responsible. They will sacrifice for the causes and the people that they love. They work hard and they play hard. The six and seven blend really well together. So they're like a peanut butter and jelly. They just work. Whereas the six wing five, they are constantly in conflict with one another. The six wing seven, the six main type is longing and searching for security and guidance. And then the seven wing is looking for community and happiness and those things coincide really easily. Usually six wing sevens are affable, extroverted people who like to have fun. When they're struggling, buddies fall to their greatest fear, which is fear itself. They anticipate terrible things happening and then they act accordingly. So like really reactively. If they let this happen, anxiety starts to rule their life and they start using distractions to mask the inner disquiet that's going on on the inside. I hope this gave you more insight into your Enneagram wing and who you are. Man, if you have any more questions, please put them in the comments down below and I will do my very best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video or over on Patreon.